This is the gateway to the stars. Inside that giant dome is where exploration begins and discoveries are made. This massive telescope at the Lick Observatory is scanning the sky above you. But this view isn't what it used to be. That glow over there is San Jose, California, the 10th most populous city in the United States, and its lights illuminate the night sky for miles. San Jose is the brightest city in Silicon Valley. It sits at an eight on the Bortle scale, a nine level numeric scale that measures the brightness of the night sky. A high number means a city has a high concentration of light pollution, and the higher the number, the harder it is to see the stars. Lick Observatory is one of the oldest observatories in the US. It was built in the late 1800s on the highest peak of the Diablo mountain range, Mount Hamilton. Lick's astronomers have made countless contributions to the scientific world. For instance, the observatory was instrumental in the test of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Today, there are several telescopes in operation. The rotating dome is an automated planet finder, which, as the name suggests, is purpose-built to discover potentially habitable Earth-sized planets orbiting nearby stars. And this is the Shane Telescope. At three meters, it is the largest and most powerful telescope at Lick. And it needs to be, because this telescope monitors storms on Neptune and Uranus, and even measures the masses of giant black holes at the center of nearby galaxies. The problem is, taking measurements has become increasingly difficult. You see, telescopes like this operate best on clear, dark nights. But in this part of the world, total darkness doesn't really exist anymore. San Jose has been growing at a rapid pace, largely because of the tech industry in Silicon Valley. Even so, the city has made a big effort to support the Lick Observatory and protect the night sky. For decades, San Jose has tried to curb light pollution by changing the types of street lighting it uses. In the 1980s, the city installed low-pressure sodium lights, which emit a distinct yellow hue. Now, because these lights are monochromatic and emit just one band of color, they are actually pretty easy for astronomers to filter out while making observations. But while these lights are good for the observatory, they're not exactly popular with the people of San Jose. Residents feel they don't illuminate the streets enough, which is a safety concern, so the city started to swap them out in favor of brighter LED lights. Unlike the low-pressure sodium lights, LEDs emit several bands of color, which to the naked eye appears as white light. But that's the problem. Because LEDs emit more than one color, it makes it nearly impossible for astronomers to filter out entirely. To help with the brightness, the city of San Jose says it will dim the LED lights when Lick's telescopes are most active. In addition, Lick astronomers are finding ways to adapt to the changing environment like focusing on making observations using near-infrared astronomy, which isn't impacted by the optical wavelengths emitted by light pollution. It's one of many solutions that are still far from ideal, because as San Jose continues to grow, new lights will turn on every day. And for astronomers, the best light is no light at all. <laughs>